Someone shared an article on my Discord channel about how abusive it is to make one's children let themselves be kissed and hugged by their aunts, uncles and grannies at family gatherings, as it violates their privacy and bodily integrity. While some people agreed with, with that message, I consider that article yet another symptom of the world of extremes we live in. So here's my outrageous claim. Contrary to the common view these days, your body is not fully yours. It also belongs to the hierarchy, say, a community li you live in. Every tall son asked by his mother to hang the curtains, and every mother nursing her little baby knows that they share their body with a unit of a higher order. No man is an island, as John Donne would put it. And it refers to one's body just the same. But, apart from partially belonging to a hierarchy of your family, community, society or nation, your body is a hierarchy as well. Parts of it are more masculine, that is, overt, public, connected to culture, like the face, the hands, your height and shape. Other parts or aspects of the body are more oriented towards the feminine, that is, they are more covert, private, related to nature, like all the biological processes going on inside, and also everything that deals with fertility. So yes, on this particular level of analysis, the male external reproductive organs are also symbolically feminine. I would say that teaching your children how this hierarchy works is an important part of inculturation. They need to know that they have a right to their privacy, and not only a right, but even duty to keep certain things private, but also have to be aware that being a part of a bigger unit means owing it certain publicity, like a handshake, a particular type of hug, or an air kiss in the cheek. As with every hierarchy, distortions on this plane can lead to extremes and absolutizing one aspect over the other may be faced with an, with an opposing force of even greater magnitude. Sometimes we might hear strong opinions about how the male gaze is basically a form of rape, absolutizing the privateness of the body. While on other occasions we are met with promoting hardcore pornography, free love, or the so-called redistribu redistribution of pleasure, making the body fully public, quite often by the very same person. There are cultures known for making a body absolutely private, but also accepting rape gangs. And there are cultures publicizing the body, rendering themselves largely infertile. Today, we also live in a culture that tries to make even one's gender private and hidden, if you recall my recent talk with Maria Brandel, but makes it an extremely public issue at the same time. I wonder how you'd see the case of mutilating one's private organs symbolically. Please share in the comments. Well, all that because we wouldn't let our aunts pinch our cheeks on Easter Sunday.